Hello and welcome to this week's Wine of the Week from California Fine Wine. I'm Mark. And Jody here. And this week we are tasting Punch. Punch is a beautiful Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, it's uh, produced by Insiders for Insiders. It's a relatively new wine and it's made by a group of winemakers who have been in the business for a long time, many of whom are um, anonymously or discreetly involved with the project, but who, whilst producing big name wines for, for other people, um, wanted to produce something for themselves that was affordable for themselves. So they came up with Punch. As you can see, it's a very pretty bottle, very classically styled. It's got this lovely gold foil top. Um, it is actually, it does actually say California, uh, as the appellation and the reason for that, sorry I'm blocking Jody in the picture there, the reason for that is that whilst um, a good proportion of the fruit comes from the Alexander Valley, there is also fruit from Mount Vin uh, Vina. Vida. Mount Vida. Vina. Vina. Vida. <laughs> Vida. Vida. Mount Vida, I'm sorry. <laughs> Deferred to the boss. Yes. So um, there's a, there's, there's a, that's why it's got the California appellation as opposed to the Napa uh, appellation. Um, it's traditionally corked, as you'd expect, for wine of this quality. Not corked, has a cork enclosure. Uh, it is traditionally has a cork enclosure, not corked. <laughs> oh dear. Really. It does have the icon, though, of punch, the California grizzly. So if you've seen the see. California flag, such as on Jody's shirt at the moment, that bear is called... Uh, is called the punch. That's punch. That's punch. So, we've got a few nibbles out here tonight just to see how this wine works with um, essentially hors d'oeuvres, some salamis and cheeses, some pate, um, and a few olives and some tom tomatoes there as well. So, let's see what we've got. So that looks like oh, absolutely beautiful classic colour. You can see that. It's a very deep garnet color almost. Coats the side of the glass absolutely beautifully. You can see the legs there. Uh, alcohol wise, it's this 14 one. 14 one. Yeah, it's not that high very, for this big cab salve. Yeah, very reasonable. So they make, made it a more restraint, so you're not going to have as much fruit forward as you would expect in, in these big uh, Cabernet Sauvignons. It's absolutely mouth watering on the nose. Mm -hmm. I mean, truly. Huge amounts of cherries and blueberries Blue. in there. Yeah, blueberries. There's the vanilla top notes of the oak. It's lightly oaked. It's lightly oaked. You don't get overpowered with oakiness there. And it's absolutely delicious. I'm, my mouth is, I'm salivating before I've even tasted it. It's very smooth. Mm. For 2009, it's very smooth. Oh, this could be a drink alone actually. Yeah, they, um, <laughs> yeah, that could get drunk very quickly and easily. Well, I meant you don't really need a lot of food with it. It's, yeah. It's quite easy to, to go down without having as you, to. As you can see, some, unlike some of the out. other, some of our other wines, we've, we've chosen to, to show this without steaks being cooked or burgers or any kind of big food. We've just chosen it with um, a, a, a few hors d'oeuvres and nibbles here, and it's, it's fantastic. Mm. It's very, very structured. And there's a lot of concentration in the fruit, a great deal of concentration. The tannins are very balanced. This will sell her very well for at least up to eight years plus. Yeah. This one will. It's a really beautiful wine. Mm. And the idea behind this, as the winemakers have said, um, as you'll, you'll see on the label and on the website, is that they were looking to produce something that was of equivalent quality to the wines that they were making for the other big name winemakers in, in mm -hmm. Napa and, and Sonoma, particularly in Napa, but um, with bought in grapes and without the big name label at a much more affordable price point. So while this is not a cheap wine, it is a very good value wine and uh, this is only their second vintage. That's correct. Yes, it's only their second vintage, so they do not yet have a host of awards and prizes. However, we are going to enter this into a decanter special that they are doing. Yeah, they do the, uh, every year they do a Cabernet tasting, and this year they're doing the 2009 vintage, and we're going to enter our punch, and you'll read about it in the February 2013 issue. Yeah, so we'll see it in there, and hopefully, hopefully yeah. we'll get a, a good, some, some good oh, reviews. We will. <laughs> so uh, you can learn more about the wine uh, online at our website mm -hmm. californiafinewine.co.uk 
and uh, you can um, uh, pick, uh, you can, you, there's a lot of information there about the wine. Uh, you'll also be able to uh, sign up as a uh, stockist. distributor, stockist, sorry, my brain's not working, as a stockist, just click on the link and we'll set you up with an account and you'll be able to have full access to all give the pricing. Give us a call, we'll come over and we'll give you a private tasting. And we have a large range and this is just one of the many beautiful wines that we do have. We'd love, love for you to call us. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Bye.